Silent night, holy night. Merry Christmas, my fantastic numismatic artistic friends. It's me, Master Temple. Are we ready for the season? Absolutely. Now, on this big old canvas, we're going to do the nativity scene. So, just about two thirds up, we've done uh, black gesso, allowed that to dry completely, apart from a little light spot in the sky. And then on the bottom part, we've mixed a bit of white gesso with the black gesso to make a grey colour. That's on the bottom third of the canvas, and that's dried completely. Now, in the starry part, in the the, the, the centre part where you can see now, it's just off centre and above centre. That way it won't distract the eye. That's dried completely as well. That's just plain raw canvas. So we're putting in some white colour now, some white oil paint. And then on the rest of the canvas, as you can see around the borders, we've coated that in, in violets, purples, blues, crimsons. So we're going to get a nice, nice variant of colour in the night sky. And we're going to have the, the nativity star up here. And what I've done is I've taken a piece of masking tape, cut out a star shape and placed that on the canvas prior to any painting taking place before I did any gesso or anything like that. So if all works well, we'll have a lovely little little star underneath all this paintwork. We'll peel that off at the very end just to just to see what it looks like. So with that said, we've already cracked on. We're putting some yellow paint in on that white paint. Now I've had a this this video is gonna be amazing. It's gonna have all sorts of colours in there. It's gonna be the nativity scene, like I've said, with the with the Christmas star. I'm, I'm just so happy, so the colours are going to reflect all that. It's the season to be jolly, isn't it? And I may burst into song every now and again. So I've had to edit out all the, the brush cleaning and brush changes. So it may look a bit odd in places where I've quickly slapped down a brush and picked up another one, but the, the video will be over an hour long and no one's got time for that. So so all we're doing now, we just put some golden colours in what will be the halo of the star and now we're just blending that out with a dry brush and we'll uh, we'll just blend that out and we can keep doing this several times with the with, with the, the fan brush with the white paint on and you want to feather this out so it'll give the indication of some some star beams that's the word isn't it star beams i'm sure i've heard that before so all we're doing is just feathering that out and then we'll come back with a dry brush and just, just tickle it all together. Progressively getting towards the edge of this, uh, this halo. Just like so. So have you, have you guys been, been naughty or nice this year? Are you on the naughty list or on the, uh, on the good list? What will we be getting? Some paints, some coins. No, uh, no coin folder or, or some more paintbrushes perhaps or will you get a lump of coil like I might do <laughs> it's alright I'm a good kid really so white paint on the brush and where we're hitting the canvas now just swooshing in side to side in a, in a slight rocking motion we'll pick up the blue colour the violet the, the, uh, the crimsons look at that just hit the crimson there it make all sorts of striking effects, especially when they're going up against this this dazzling bright star, this 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 yellow golden star. Now on this side, it's there. You can you can just about make it out, but but oil paints has a they have a nice uh, a glossy effect, so, and that can play havoc with me with me lighting at times. Note I can do about it, but they're there. Just swooshing in side to side. A little bit more violet on this side than the other side. It's great. We get all sorts of colours. We're going to have every colour that I can possibly possibly paint. There we go. Just tickling this nice little variant of colour in the sky. Happy days. There we go. We'll just grab another brush. 
big dry brush and just gently and it's, it is gently just blend all this together just ever so gently caressing the canvas just like you're grazing the canvas with a paintbrush and mix it all smooth it all together take out all the harsh brush strokes that you made with a fan brush then again with some more colour this is just white <laughs> just wobbling in what would be some night clouds they're obviously lit up by the uh, by the star and we're just working them in we're not working on any, any particular patterns we just have a, a rough shape in his head in his, his ima <laughs> imagination I think they call that just gently putting them in. And again, we'll come back. And we'll blend them out. There we go. Get the big brush on the go. And blend him out. So are we all set for the big man arriving? Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. <laughs> I might burst into song at some point. But very gently. Very gently. Just... Just smooth out these clouds. Even tickle the base like this. Fluff them up. That's all we're doing. There we go. There we go. Now, on a tiny brush, a little, little rounded brush, we're just putting an indication with some titanium white. Just the odd dot here and there of some stars that are far away. I don't want too many. Just one or two in some of these these open areas we can just pick out some some stars that are in the distance there we go then we'll come back in get this big brush and just just take out the harshness of those little stars set them into the painting just like that just like that and then we'll lightly go across it all blend it all together happy days Happy days. So that's we, the reason why we've put the um, we've got the main part of it is in the sky. Obviously, the sky is two thirds of the canvas. We don't want it exactly halfway because that would distract the eye. We wouldn't make it look right. And, and same same with the star in the middle. If if we put that dead center, dead in the middle, it again it would distract the eye and. It just don't work. So move it to one side, have it below the horizon or above the horizon, but never actually on the horizon itself, if that makes sense. I think it does. I think it does. There. Just blend all this together now. And all these colours, they appear black until you start painting with them. They jump out at you. Now let's put some little hills here. Now this is Bethlehem, obviously doing the nativity scene. I don't think there's any big major mountain ranges in Bethlehem, but I could be wrong. I'm no, uh, I'm no geologist on this uh, on this region, but we'll just put some nice little nice little hills in because it's it's a Christmassy, wintry scene. We're using as artistic license, and we're making some some snow there. I don't know how often it snows in Bethlehem, but we'll have it snowing today. So it's just titanium white on the fan brush. And we're just dancing in a nice little set of hills. Just like so. Of course, it'll pick up the colour that's on the canvas already. And it'll give us lovely, lovely different coloured mountains, well, hills or whatever, moorlands. We don't want to be killing off all this black or dark area that we've we've created. What we want to do is just leave some open and let the highlights roll. We get lots of lovely variants in the hills and we don't really have to work for it. That easy. And where we meet the white gesso... On the white gesso, there's some white paint, some white liquid white I put on top of that. 
I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning, but that's just there to make it slick and smooth so we can we can move colour on the canvas. So as it hits the, the white gesso, we're just gonna blend them together. We can do that with this fan brush. You can you can do it with a with any paintbrush really, any large one, but since we've got that fan brush going with the white paint on, that's all we'll use. And we'll come back a little bit of the lighter colour. So some fresh colour, some fresh white paint. And we're really gonna jazz up some of these areas where the star is gonna just really glow on top of these little hills. Yeah. Here and there, there and here. Just like that. Wherever they'll be, that's where they should be. That's it. Happy days. A little bit more down there. And with that, we've got a nice little sky. And we've got a nice little little uh, range of hills in the background. Just blend them together. Blend the base. We, we don't want to have a straight line, you see. Again, that can distract the eye. What we want to do is have a nice, soft merging of colours, I think. I think that's the word. Let's merge them together. A couple more highlights just here and there. There we go. Yes, it's been a crazy old year, hasn't it? Crazy old year. But... Uh, I've enjoyed doing these paintings for you throughout the uh, throughout the year. I've enjoyed doing all the coin coin collecting um, series with the, uh, the till raiding and uh, making so many fantastic friends. It's it's just unbelievable, and the channel is getting stronger and stronger every day. I just I just want to thank you all for for making it completely enjoyable for me. I really do. Hand on out. I want to thank you all. All right, so we're going to have some little buildings here. We said it's the nativity scene, so we're going to need the old barn where the baby Jesus was born, and we're going to need the inn where where they weren't allowed to stay. Mary and Joseph weren't allowed to stay. So we'll have the barn just below the star, and uh, we'll have the, uh, the inn to the... The right of that. We might put a couple more buildings in. So this is just a mixture of, of the brown paints. So burnt umber, raw sienna, just some brown paints. And then just trying to make a nice little sheds out of silhouette. With the with a palette knife, just like so. We're just keeping a back eave there for the uh, for the inn. I don't want to paint anything on the roof because obviously it's it's snowing. So we're gonna we're gonna put some white paint on there and have some white paint on the on the roof for this uh, these sheds. Let's have another building just off off to this side. Maybe these are facing straight on. There we go. We'll just pull straight down. And we'll come back and we'll we'll make it look like wooden boards in a in a in a bit. Now all I'm doing is cutting off the, the excess paint there at the bottom. So we white, just pure titanium white. All we're doing is putting a roof on this uh, this old cattle shed. Just like that. Now if it grabs onto some of that brown paint or purple paint or whatever colour that's uh, that's around, don't don't fight it. It'll act like shadows in the snow. And what we'll do is we'll come back and put more and more paint on top of this, so it'll eventually it'll look really thick, like a lot of snow has landed on the roof, just like this. There, just. Barely touching the canvas. 
The only part that wants to be touching the canvas is the paint. Your knife doesn't want to touch the canvas at all at this point. There we go. Right, bit of dark colour, we'll put a big door in. There. Just like that. Now you can tinker with these sheds for hours and hours and hours on end. Till you get them just right. A little bit of lighter colour now. And we'll just put the indication of some some wooden planks, some wooden boards. There. Just touch, 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 touch. There we go. It starts to come alive. And again, we're using a nice bright colour. I want lots of colour in this. Lots of different colours. There we go. So what's your favourite Christmas song then, folks? What is your favourite Christmas song? I'm quite partial to a bit of Cliff Richard. But I also like the King as well. Ah, I'll have a blue Christmas for Satan. I'll be so blue. Now my step toe is a hurting. <laughs> I just make words up if I don't know them. Oh well. Right. Let's get back onto it. What we're we doing, yeah. The cattle shed. Right, so all we're doing. Scraping off excess paint just down in the base here, and that eventually will become shadows in the snow. It doesn't look like it yet, but when we come back and we put some some white paint over the top of that, we'll allow that to grab, allow it to grab this brownie colour, and it'll make some shadows in the snow. Now, I don't particularly like brown snow, but it's you know what they say. It's, there's only one thing worse than, than yellow snow, and that's brown snow. But because we've got brown buildings, it will give off like a... a it will make it look right anyway. Trust me, you're going to have to trust me on this one. I'm not explaining it too well, am I? Right, so we're just popping some windows, so a little bit of blue paint on the on the edge of the knife, the small edge of the small knife. I'm just cutting some little windows. And then we'll put some... Some white paint here on the roof. Uh, this is this is the inn. This is where the innkeeper lives. This is where, if your name's not down, you're not coming in. Now big bounces on the doors. And there's fireway building here. I don't know what lives in this one. Who lives in this one? Should I say? Someone else. <laughs> yeah, bit of light paint. We're just. I like the door frame here. Just like that. There we go. There we go. Couple more windows on this one. Don't want this one left out, do we? Right, here we go. The white paint on the fan brush. And we're just grabbing a tiny little bit. And it'll create a shadow. There we go. And this will this will also create different levels in your painting, different layers of of distance as well. We'll go this way, and if you've got too much brown paint on there or too much shadowy paint, you can add some more white. White is a very opaque colour, so you can paint right over the top of virtually anything the titanium white paint and again we just smooth that out set it into the painting right right back here i've decided to have a few little little christmas trees since it's a christmas painting we'll have a couple of little christmas trees right far back you can hardly tell they're there so we're just wanting basic shapes basic shapes basic colors nothing too detailed too far away and we'll put him a little friend with him. Again, I, I'm, I'm wanting different colours. 
so we'll have a nice nice greeny color in this uh, in these trees here there we go touch of the darker color just at the base we'll probably come back and we'll put some highlights and a bit of snow on some of these these little trees here but we don't want much we don't want much this is made with just a, a tiny little filbert brush there we go just a few few indications a few little bits of the highlights again if you if you overwork this the detail will distract your eye and you, you can't see that much detail if things are far away that makes sense a bit more there and a bit more there here we go there happy days happy days and then we, what we can do tap 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 at the base and we can blend that out as well we can blend that out we will get a bit of white paint on the brush I like to grab some of that green paint and we've got a green shadow in the in the uh, in the snow and we'll just smooth that out and it looks like we're basically building a little road here between the building between the buildings and the tree and you can walk for miles behind the uh, behind the hills see when I started this I just had a basic idea of what I wanted I didn't know how it was gonna go and that's that's the beauty of painting in this method it's so free all you need is the imagination a bit of practice and a rough time of, of year and, and, and day really and away you go pull out a bit of that dark colour it makes a little bit of a muddy path to get into this little uh, little cattle shed let's put another little Christmas tree we need one right outside the inn don't we so all it is little Christmas tree made on the tiniest tiniest little filbert brush not much detail but I feel one should be there and there probably were no Christmas trees in Bethlehem back then but it's again it's our painting it's our interpretation of what we're what we're wanting on on this canvas touch of highlight happy days bit more and if your paint is not sticking if your white paint is not sticking it's because it needs thinning down a bit the paints that we use are quite firm so all you need to do is add a tiny bit of paint thinner or use liquid white if you're going to do that right let's put let's put some big trees in this foreground so with a mixture of brown colors on the fan brush we'll just put some tree trunks in this We'll have some sort of like Scots pines in this instead of the traditional Christmas tree. I like I like Scots pines. I think that's what they call them. You'll see what I mean when we when I finish painting them. The, 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 the really nice painting. They're really nice trees. A lot of character to these individual little trees. There we go. So again, as. As with most trees you'll see, they're wider at the base than they are at the top, or the tree trunks are anyway. And give him a friend. There. Like I said, things work better in odd numbers. Singly, or in threes, or in fives. After that, it gets a bit confusing because you end up with like a herd of trees. But same, same with the houses, the, the sheds that we've built, we've built three there, you see. Now if we had one, that'd look alright. If we have two, probably think something's missing. 
It's just my preference. I think there is a technical term for it, but it just looks right. The odd numbers look right. So the little tiny rounded brochure we're doing is putting in some, some arms on these trees. And we're double loading the brush so we get the dark colour. So we've got dark colour of um, a dark brown paint and a light brown paint on either side of the paintbrush. And we're just, we're just putting in the nice little barky shapes that live, that live here on this tree trunk. There we go. And a bit on this one. Again, the star dictates where the light would shine onto the tree trunks. You need to get your highlights in the right place. If you don't, you'll end up, again, that'll end up distracting your eye and you'll not be pleased with me. Right. What we're thinking about, don't know. But with a liner brush now, and again, this is where you thin the paint down. With a liner brush, you'll really struggle to paint with the thick paints that we're using. So we need to thin it down with paint thinner. So we mix a bit of paint thinner into the to the brown colour, and we just we just let it slide right over the top of the, the layers of paint that we've already made and we've already painted on. There we go. You probably can't see these as they're against the dark night sky, but you, you'll be able to tell that they're there eventually, especially when we come and put some leaves and stuff up here. They'll really stand out. You can put as many as you want in, you know. Or you can put as few in as you want. Now down here, we'll just put some, these are whatever greens usually have, is some, some dead sticks that are hanging down. You put a couple on each uh, on each tree. There we go, just like that. Yeah, you want your paint as thin as ink, as thin as ink when you when you're using this script liner brush. Oh, it won't work. Yeah, a couple more sticks up here. Shall we sing another song? What song shall I sing? I know, I know. A jingle bells, a jingle bells, a jingle all the way. Scoop it up, ba 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 ba, dashing through the snow, ba 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 ba, dancing through the lanes, ba da ba ba. Over the fields we go, da 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 da, da 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 da. Nah, no, don't like it. Stick to the original. <laughs> That's another Christmas song I've just killed. All right, back to the script liner brush, just couple of sticks and twigs hanging off these uh, these old tree trunks just like that there we go there we go now I could have fast forwarded this but I want I want you to get the feel I want you to get the feel of how with the paint in, in the bro in the brush on the canvas in, in real time. Obviously, like I've said before, I've edited out all the all, all the brush cleaning and uh, all the you, you know changing of brushes and loading the brushes full of paint to make it quicker for you guys to watch. But um, I actually want the the painting time itself to remain in real time. That that way you get a sense of um, what's the word realism. Realism as the painting came alive. I mean, remember once when I did a, a seascape and I painted it in real time and I was ready to upload and then uh, I, in my eternal wisdom thought, I know, I'll make it a little bit easier as turning, turning around for people to watch because I know a lot of people haven't got a lot of time to spare. Um, I, I, spe I speeded the video up. Uh, and I think I made it twice as quick so the painting was done within like 10 minutes and it didn't go down too well I got told off for that so so yeah gotta keep it gotta keep the painting actually in real time which is is all right if you if you paint in is about an half hour 40 minutes long but if it's an epic piece like a couple of days work a couple of hours work it don't really work out that way so so yeah 
Anyhow, let's let's get off that. Let's put a little duck pond down here. If if this is a cattle shed, and this is the uh, need somewhere for the uh, for the ducks to live and the, the the cows and the donkey to come and 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 drink from. So let's put a little duck pond down here. So this is just thalo blue, and we pull that straight down, straight off the fan brush, straight down. Don't pull it to the side, or it'll look like your pond's gone wonky. And then we'll just gently caress that with, with a dry brush, and then we'll put a little bit of a little bit of a water line, some snow on here. Might even be iced over. So some titanium white on the palette knife. Give the indication of, of uh, a little bit of snow around the bank, and then all we do we can zip it off just like that. And there we've got it. Let's push that, let's push that pond into the painting now. Just blend some of that white paint back into the, into the, into the ground. There we go. Just like so. Happy days, happy days. So there we have it. Nice little duck pond. Now we're doing is getting a bit of white now. Just grab the base of these trees. And again, we're gonna put some shadows in. Allow it to pick up some of that, that, that tree color. And we can create some shadows in the snow again. And we, I'm, just, I'm just laughing because I know brown streaks in snow don't go down too well, but um, it, it, it works, trust me. It gives another, another dimension to it, shall we say white paint that's all we're using and we can paint snow that easy that easy there we go right down to the to the border and you can start shaping in how your land lays just like that there we go grab some of that brown paint into the snow and we've got a brown streak right across the snow, but uh, we know it's we know it's the roots and, and the shadows created by by this old big tree. There, nice and smooth. Smooth it out. We don't want rough snow. <laughs> Again, if it gets a bit too bright, that brown colour looks a bit too bright in the in the snow. Just just keep tickling him, and it'll it'll fade away. It'll fade away. A bit more on this side. This is where you need a lot of white paint. So don't be stingy with it. There. And there we go. Some, some more down in this corner now. Again, all these different little layers. These, these, these shadows in the trees and the pathways that we've created the shadows from the hills and the the cattle shed and the pond it it, it creates the the illusion of distance in the painting let's put a path in so i've picked up a bit of that violet color i've just wiped it on the on the bit of tissue that's surrounding the border so i don't want it too strong and we'll just put in a neat little path so it's got to be wider as it's closer to us and then it gets narrower as we go away from us. But this this little path, a different colour again, adds a different tone to the painting. Creates a lot of different colours. When in reality, it would be just like a, a dark sky and um, white snow perhaps. And that's what we want to create on this one. Now what I'm doing here is is I've, I've mixed a colour of Thalo green, which is like a, a nice, vibrant colour of a green, and I've, I've mixed it with a bit of sap green as well, and uh, and some some blue in there just to darken it a touch, and we're just lifting up slightly. I don't know if you can see that, but we're just lifting up slightly, and we're creating some um, some foliage for these. For these Scotch pines. 
just like that. They live in the fan brush. You've just got to scare them out. Possibly can't see what I'm doing because of my hand, but all I'm doing is touching the canvas and with a light little push up. That's all I'm doing. Now down at the base, I've changed the colour again, changed the flavour of the paint. And this is a bit more bluer. So I've just added a bit more Prussian blue to that green mixture. And all we're doing is just just tickling in some some uh, some grassy things that live around the base of this uh, these trees here. Just like that. All it is, just just a tiny bit of Prussian blue with a bit of green mixed in there. Just touch, touch, touch. You see, oh, Dan, your arm's in the way again. We can't see what you're doing. There we go. There we go. Right, big knife time. Let's remove the masking tape. Whoop. There we go. So now we've got his border. We've got his border all all the way around. So what's what's fun to do now is take some liquid um, brown, I sh should say. It's it's paint thinner than, than the brown paint, and we'll we'll create some some sticks and twigs and branches and arms that are, are breaking out of the border. It's kind of fun. This I, they're always kind of popular. These kind of paintings. If they break the border, it, it adds another dimension to the painting. And if it breaks the, 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 the outer border, which is basically, it's, it's just acrylic, a, acrylic black paint I've, I've painted the border with. And I, I coated that with linseed oil, just to give it that nice oil colour effect, the oil painting effect on the border itself. But they're, they're always nice to, to break these borders with these trees and you can you can have them intertwined I've done them intertwined before now we'll go back to that green paint and we'll just touch the touch the canvas and create some more foliage up here some leaves and things and it stands out against that black paint put some in the white areas as well We'll come across onto this side, we'll paint some more sticks and twigs, branches, tree arms, whatever you want to call them. Just like that. You put as many as you want in, or as few as you want. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. Add some sticks down here as well. Some grassy things, some weeds. Because there'll be all sorts growing up around the base of these trees, won't there? There we go. Silver bells, silver bells, it's Christmas time in Yorkshire. Do -do 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 -do. Temple bells, temple bells, soon it will be Christmas Day. <laughs> Don't quit your, your day job, Dan. <laughs> right, so we'll add some more green foliage up here on this on this right hand tree. It's just a bit of fun. It's just a bit of fun. Who can't sing at Christmas? Well, I can't sing, but it's Christmas time anyway. So, so just a bit of foliage up there. And then we'll come back with the thin white paint. Created a lot of layers of paint now. So we'll have to thin the white paint down. So it's just... Titanium white with a bit of with a bit of liquid white. And when we touch the canvas, we're just highlighting just here and there and there and here where some snow would be. Where the frost has, has grabbed out of some of these leaves right up here. Just touching, not sliding the paintbrush, just touching. Again, we want it to be above the green parts of the tree you can't have um, you can't have highlights and snow living underneath the branches they've got to be above them so so you want to be just a, a, a little bit above there we go and we'll put a 
fair amount, a fair old amount of snow on that one, but it don't matter. That doesn't matter. It happens in nature sometimes that you get a lot of, maybe there was a bird's nest in that one. And forgive the arm, right across here. Couple more. You see what I'm talking about, the glare, because the, the, the paint has got a nice glossy sheen to it. It's, it's a look, when you look at it, looking at it, it's, it's a lovely, lovely to look at. But obviously, it, it doesn't bode too well when, when you're trying to focus the camera or get the lighting sorted out right. A bit more snow down here. There we go. There we go. We can just play about with this. Just like that. A bit more up here. You can't see what I'm doing, but you know I'm doing it. I am going to try and, 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 and use two cameras in the new year. So you can see exactly what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Right, let's work on this. Let's get this star exposed, the Christmas star. So very gently, because we don't want to smudge any of the paint. Use the sharp point of the knife. And just picking off that masking tape, that, that star masking tape that I made. And let's gently peel back to expose the star. If all goes well, we'll have a nice bright star. Here it comes. There. That's his Christmas star, folks. Right above the old cattle shed. Let's sign this one right down here. And I just want to thank you all for, for allowing me to paint for you. And, do the coin hunts and, and everything else with the channel it's been an absolutely cracking year and i couldn't have done it without you guys and there's a lot of special people out there that you know my family and, and friends fantastic friends i've made within the communities it's, it's it's wonderful so thank you for that and here's to an absolutely belt in 2021 so it's gonna be great so until then do stay safe. Have an absolutely amazing Christmas. I wish you that all of the best for 2021. And do stay safe. Till next time, my fantastic friends. Merry Christmas. I'll see you all later. Happy days.